Hey friends, so for our lesson today, you need three things. You need your book or your cushion or something to balance in your hand. I have the Poly Spot from PE. It's number one. Number two, tennis racket or a frying pan to balance a ball or maybe a pair of socks with. So we're gonna work on balancing. That's number two. Number three, you need a spoon like this from your kitchen. And again, maybe the same pair of socks that you have or a plastic Easter egg that maybe you had at Easter. I have a wooden one from PE. So if you don't have an egg, again, the pair of socks will work just fine. So you can go grab those things and come back. We'll start our lesson. Hey my friends, happy Monday. So we are going to talk about moving with control today because we're getting ready for sports day and our lesson objective is to learn how to move control, to find some focus so we can get ready for the egg and spoon race. The egg and spoon race is kind of tricky, but I know we can do it because we have so much focus and so much control because of all the great mindfulness we do and how much we've worked on our focus and control. So let's just start out with a few big deep breaths because it's PE time and we're not in school. We're here at home. I'm on my rooftop today. It's a lovely day. So can you just take a moment? We're gonna take three big deep breaths. So remember, sit up in your nice mindful posture or maybe you're standing, stand up nice and tall. Take a nice big inhale and exhale. And again, we inhale, we grow taller. And we exhale, relax. And last one. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, relax. Okay, so we're gonna think about Mr. Men. Remember when we used to play the Mr. Men game? We had so many different characters and they all moved a little bit differently. So let's stand up, find some space. And can you, we're just gonna stay in our space. Remember we stay in our bubble even though we're at home. We don't have any friends to run into. We still need to stay in our space for the game. Okay, so show me Mr. Fast. Fast, 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 fast. Fantastic. And now show me Mr. Slow. Nice, slow and controlled movement. Show me Mr. Messy. Remember Mr. Messy? And show me Mr. Dizzy. Dizzy, he just twists around. Excellent. Show me Mr. Adventure. Do you remember you got down on the ground? You did those mountain climbers? Show me Mr. Adventure. Here you go. Fantastic. And now we're going to think about a new guy. He's called Mr. Control. So remember how I asked you before the lesson to come with a spot. Well, you don't have a spot. I'm going to have a poly spot. A frisbee maybe a plastic plate or a paper plate or a cushion or a book, something that we can practice balancing. So I've been at school and I have a poly spot. So we're gonna practice being Mr. Control, which is kind of like Mr. Balance. And we're gonna see how we can balance this. So we're gonna put it like it's a pizza on our hand. Actually, why don't we, should we decorate the pizza? Let's decorate the pizza. So what kind of pizza are you gonna make? Thing. I'm gonna put some cheese on mine and some mushrooms and some peppers. So decorate your pizza and we're gonna then when you're ready we're gonna try moving with some control. So let's just try standing up and sitting down. So we kneel down and we come up. Now if this is tricky for you why don't you just practice sitting on the ground or sitting in a chair and just balancing that pizza and raising it up and down. So you can grab a chair, if this is a bit tricky, and you can just sit and practice. Maybe you stand up from that chair and you sit back down. Maybe you have that pizza in two hands and you practice moving with control. Maybe you just take that chair and you hold on to it and you balance with control. Standing up, because for some of us, balance is trickier than others, right? We need to have our focus, 
maybe you stare at that object. Because remember, when we stare at a spot, it sometimes gives us better control. Now, if you feel like you've gone out of control, maybe we try just moving around our space. We move sideways, we move forward, we move back. Maybe we put it above our head and we try that. Maybe we balance on one foot with it and we move it around. So many options. And if you've been balancing on foot but you're getting a little bit wobbly, take that hand onto that chair onto the wall and see if you can just use that balance and still be on one foot. Excellent work. So if you've been able to balance this, let's try it on our heads now. So can you try it on your head for me? Remember we tried just last week, standing nice and tall with your posture. If you can just balance, great. If it's tricky to stand and balance on your head, maybe you just sit down in that chair again. And let's see if we can balance on our head as we walk around. Some of you showed me some CSA videos and you were so good at this. You were so controlled. So now, your goal is I want you to pause the video and see if you can walk around your house having that on your head. See if there's some distraction up there, if you can ignore the distraction. Walk around the house, maybe you balance on here and see if you can do that just for, I don't know, three, four times around the house, trying to keep it either balanced on your hand, two hands on your head. Remember walking with control, nice and slow with focus, bending those knees. We don't want elephant stomps. We want to think about Mr. Control, Mr. Balance, how we can be Mr. Balance and a little bit of Mr. Slow. So do that for me and come back, okay? Hey friends, how did it go? Did you have control and balance? Did you drop your pizza? I hope if you had great control, we're gonna move on. If your control was a bit wobbly, we are gonna stick with that spot and that is going to be your egg and spoon for now. But if you're ready to move on, here's what our next bit of the lesson is racket or frying pan. So two things, remember we talked about this last week as well. We are going to practice balancing. So if you have a ball or a pair of socks, something, you're going to practice balancing that while you move with control and focus. So here's the deal. We would normally be holding it like this, right? At the end. But if you're finding it a little bit tricky, maybe you take it more, maybe you have two hands on it. Maybe you have one hand and you go super close with that grip towards the end. So I want you to see the ball is going to be the trickiest. A pair of socks might be a little bit easier. But I want you to practice doing the same thing, moving like Mr. Control, Mr. Slow, uh, moving around with that racket and the ball. So again, some of you showed me last week how great you can move with so much control. So now what I want you to do is kind of create a little obstacle course around your house. So maybe you walk around a chair, or maybe you walk around the table, maybe you even try walking up one step and back down the step, or up two steps and back down the step, but be really safe. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna practice doing this. Now, if you're finding this a bit tricky, I just want you to stand. Just want you to stand. If it's easy, come to the end and try balancing and moving up and down, balancing on one leg. Again, you can go back to that chair. You can sit down in this chair and try balancing it. Change your grip, maybe you go a little bit closer, maybe you have two hands. Let's see what we can do. Can we get up off the chair? Can we go down and touch the ground? Can we move? Can we move with control? And if you're moving with control, can you move a little bit quicker? Can you maybe jog? Can you jump up and down? See what you can do with that ball to keep it nice, and balanced and not dropping it. All right, good luck my friends. Go move around the house, press pause, move around the house and come back. How did it go? If some of you found that a little bit tricky, maybe you find a wall. So I don't really have a lot of walls up here, do I? But here we go, here's a wall. Maybe you use that wall. Ooh. And you take that wall and you move with your hand on that wall as you try to walk and keep it balanced. 
maybe keep on that wall and you just go up and again maybe you use the chair so you might find something to give you a little assistance and you can still balance that ball but you're moving from point a which would be here to point b over here and maybe you move backwards Remember, we use different muscles in our body when we move forward and backwards. So see what you can do. Keep practicing. Well done. Hey friends, how did that go? Thumbs up, thumbs down. If it was thumbs down, find some ways that you can practice. Remember, practice makes perfect, but you can use the wall. You can just sit on the ground and practice. Maybe you find a, a sibling or a parent to hold your hands while you walk around trying to keep focus with the ball on the racket. If it was thumbs up, do you think we're ready for egg and spoon? Now pretty much everyone should have a spoon like this in their kitchen, right? So at the beginning of the lesson, I asked you to find this with the help of your mom and dad or nanny. And here I've got an egg, it's a wooden egg. I got it from PE. You can also use, again, a pair of socks. I think a ball would be a bit tricky. I do have a tiny little ball here, which could be used, but a ball is really round and it might, be more wobbly than that egg. So I would advise a plastic Easter egg because I know you've got lots of them around the house because we just had Easter or a pair of socks. So number three, step three, egg and spoon. So now again, we can try using that egg and spoon. So if you're finding it really tricky having it, your grip here, remember you can grip down towards the end Remember, you can use two hands if you need. And now we're just gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna see if we can go down and touch the ground. See if we can come up. See if we can balance. Just moving in kind of around in circle, just taking a few steps. Moving with control. Maybe if you're getting really good at this, now you try to walk from point A Here's my point A to point B, which is over here. If you have that wall, again, use that wall for assistance. Use two hands. Let's see if we can walk from point A to point B without dropping that egg and spoon. What do you think? How's it going? Yeah, now if we had friends around, we would be doing a relay race. So we would remember we would walk to point B, A to B and back again. You would then high five your friend and your friend would go. But because we don't have friends around and we're gonna be doing this at home, what you're gonna do is create an obstacle course around your house that you can do your egg and, race, egg and spoon race with. So maybe you go around tables and chairs. Maybe if you're really good, you walk up steps. Maybe if it's a little bit tricky, you just walk forward and backwards which is so fine. You just walk forward and then you walk back. And you see how many times you can do that. And that is your egg and spoon race. So we're all gonna have different courses because we all have different abilities right now. So I want you now, your next, your next task is to just make a little course around your house or just right here in this space, how you can find control with that egg and spoon. Keeping your gaze on it, moving slow with control. Maybe we stand up nice and tall. And we have an egg in front of us. Maybe we jog with it. Find what you can do and give it a go and then come back to me. Good luck. How did it go? Were you able to create a little course and walk with that egg and spoon? Maybe you continue doing it with the tennis racket or maybe you just continue doing it with that poly spot all different levels that you can do level one two or three preparing for next week so next week we have the year tens who are going to be introducing our races and we're going to have one day of practicing for egg and spoon race and then on friday we're going to put all of our events together for a virtual sports day so you have all day today and then next week again to practice with that egg and spoon practice with level one with this again maybe you just sit down maybe you sit on the floor maybe you take a wall and you walk along maybe you go up and down with the poly spot the tennis racket or your frying pan is next 
I'm practicing moving with control with that. And last but not least is the egg and spoon, the real egg and spoon race. Seeing if you can start out um, just walking, maybe standing, maybe bending up and down, then maybe we walk, then maybe we jog, then maybe we see if we can run. Again, using that wall if you need some practice. So now let's go into our final game. Do you remember pizza tag? We played it a few times. So you can either get that poly spot, your racket, or your egg and spoon. And what I want you to do is move around the space. So moving around, find a little bubble for you to move in. And every time, you're gonna get out of your comfort zone with this. Every time you drop that egg, or you drop your spot, or your frisbee, or your racket, the ball off the racket, you're gonna do 10 star jumps. Do you remember star jumps? I know you do, because they're your favorite. Do you remember star jumps? We go out and in. Out and in. For some of you who find star jumps a little bit tricky, you can do windmills. Arms going the same direction. Or arms going opposite directions. But I would love to see you because I know you're all so good. So then we're going to work upper body and lower body. So out and in. X and I. X and I. Okay, so every time you drop your spot, your ball or your egg, I want to see five jumps. Then you pick it up and you go again. Can you do that for me? Yeah, let's give it a go. So getting out of your comfort zone, moving a little bit more than you normally would, making it fun. Another time you drop. What do I want? Five star jumps. Two, three, four, and you go again. So try a little bit of pizza tag without our taggers, which is so not the same as it. Not quite as fun without our friends. But anyway, practice a little bit of that pizza tag with your spoon, your racket, or your poly spot. Then create a nice little obstacle course around your house for that egg and spoon race. Again, if you need help, you can always sit on the floor. You can always use a wall for some assistance. Use a chair. Find a friend to help you. Find ways, and once you perfect one skill, you can then move to the next, to the next, to the next. So stay tuned. Max and Charlotte have created a little egg and spoon race out in the back of our house to show you what I would like to see. You can make it as simple as what they've done or you can make it a little more complex. So practicing for sports week and we'll see you for our next lesson tomorrow. Thanks. So slow and controlled movements, changing levels, zigzagging, walking in a straight line, all different ways you can create an obstacle course in your house going around objects or if you need a little bit of help you can touch the wall nice slow and controlled you can change your grip on that spoon finding ways to make your skills successful